right, welcome back to Jeff Koinange Live, powered by Standard Charter. Standard Charter, your world is better with priority banking. My guest today, the industrialist himself. And you know, he hates this term billionaire, but you know, look, it is what it is. So Manu Chandaria, as humble as he, last time he was here, by the way, he told me something that shocked me and shocked a lot of people. He said he only has two suits and two pairs of shoes. And when they, you know, when they wear off, he gives them away. Who does that? Manu, but w w was that true? I mean, would you? Five suits. Five suits. When one wears off. Goes away. And you Another comes in, the one goes. Oh, man. Okay, look, look. Uh, maybe some people here in this country and, and beyond need to be taught a lesson in humility. So where did that come? You were not, you, you were never always like this, Manu. Well, always been since the, you know, you, you, when you start, you're nothing really. You're just a small particle of dust. And you grow up. And in growing up, you find so many people either kick you, push you, yeah. bless you, support you, and you find out that at the world, if you really want to win, be you, be, have humility as one of the finest virtue. Yeah. Then everybody likes because then they know at the end of the day, hey, I can't say about him. So humility is something which is to be humble. It's to be on the ground. Yeah. Yeah. And very few, few people are like that, Manu. Um, you know, and, and, okay, our politicians, and you're not a politician, Manu, but you know, you watch politics and you listen to them and you've talked to them, but humility is never in their vocabulary. But the point is that, you know, uh, when, when, you, when you get to a stage where it's very, very little and you get somewhere, you know, you, you have to fight with your own ego. And ego kills you. Mm. I am someone. <laughs> yes. So that, that's the most, most difficult way. But unless you tame it, you cannot be the people, you cannot serve. Yeah. You know, there, there are two ways of doing things. One is, I'm for myself. I'm for myself and for others. And there are some, mostly I'm for others, very little for me. Manu, you're a billionaire. Let's, let's face it, you and your family, you know, old money, you're a billionaire. You can afford anything you want, but then you live a simple life. Why? Well, the, the point is that, you know, uh, there are two basic issues that I will always remember. You're born with nothing, and you're going to go with nothing. Anything that you got in between. And I think that the best way of, of whatever you got in between, how to use the best, will go a long way and cover more mileage. And that's the principle that I use in my life. That, yes, how many suits can I wear? Every time when I see you, I tell you, hey, hey, is that a new suit? <laughs> There's a three piece, is that a new suit? Yes. Nobody asks me, is it a new suit? No. No. <laughs> but the question is that you set samples, you set examples, then people will think. Yeah. They, they might not agree, they might not accept. But somebody has to set some yeah. examples. But Manu, sometimes, you know what, we see people every day in the newspapers, they want to be Manu Chandaria overnight. They want to be you overnight. Nothing happens overnight. The life is not that easy. You've got to build. And it's, it's one break after the other. One break, second break, third break, fourth break. And, and, and doing so, nothing happens overnight. And if it happens overnight, so for example, then it doesn't last very long. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You've got to build a a, a, what you call a foundation, yeah. which is going to last for a longer period. Yeah. yeah. And a lot of them don't think of that, do they? Well, 
as I said that, you know, to them uh, is the first time the sing the money. Uh, so did I also started seeing the money for the first time. Sure. But then you got to work at it and, and, and tame yourself and to make yourself to the size that you want to be, not to be the size which you think you could be mm. or you should be. That, that gives the wrong impression. Manu, about a, I think a couple of years ago, the World Bank uh, classified Kenya as a middle-income country. Are that's we? Right, that's are right. we? Yes, we are. We are. We are middle-income middle country, and because of that, uh, we don't have any any more what we call support that we not use. Right. But then support also dried up, irrespective, yes. because now it's not aid; it's trade. Yeah. Yeah. So it doesn't make a difference. Yes, we are better off. But is, is this we are satisfied with? No. Middle income comes from the bottom part. What we want to be middle income somewhere here. A thousand dollars or eight hundred dollars per capita income or eleven hundred dollars. It's just not what you want. We want to be four hundred four thousand, five thousand then yes, we can. Because the minute you be, ambitions will drive you to be higher income group. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Manu, at Independence, I think it was either Independence or a little later, we were on par with South Korea. On par. Yeah. Better than South Korea, not on par, better. So but the question is that, yeah. uh, this is the question that you're going to ask me, and yes. that let me tell you. Yes. Everything is doable. What was what was South Korea, Thailand, Malaysia, Malaysia. <laughs> Singapore? Yeah. You name it. All those countries. Yeah. What what were they? Fifty years back, they were just nothing. They were nothing. Yeah. And look at today. And it's not today. It's ten years back, fifteen years back. They came up like that. It is doable. Is it coming? It can be done. The point is, are we really agreeable? Mm. We want to do it. Yeah. And when we say we want to do it, it doesn't, it doesn't mean by words. Mm -mm. It needs action. Yeah. yeah. And it can be done. That means the whole country must aspire. I, we want to be like Koreans. We want to be like Singaporeans. We want to be like Thais. We will. But without thinking about it, then you just will be just what we are. But okay, Manu, look, you're 91. It's not going to happen in your lifetime. Let's face it. It's not. You're not no, going to live to 150. It's, it's not. It's not. But but that doesn't mean that we should live it. But are you it. disappointed that you didn't see this country from independence become what it could have been? Absolutely. I think we could have been middle-income earning group. 20 years back. But the question is that, do we have that ambition first to become one? Talk is one other thing, but you must have the ambition. Yeah. When you have the ambition, it pushes you. Yeah. It drives you. Yeah. That's the way you make it. Manu, you know you've been fortunate enough to have lived through the four presidents we've had since independence. Yeah, but also the colonial times. 50, I started working 50 until 64, it was... It was in emergency, yeah, was it? Her, 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 her Majesty the Queen. My goodness. <laughs> so, just, it's a five generation. But correct, correct, correct. Yeah. Was life better then? Hmm? Was life better then? No, no, for me the life is always improving every day. But what I don't see is life improvement for all together with yeah. me. That hurts me. Yeah, yeah. The poverty has become more deeper than what it used to be. And that's just not, that's not on. Now, who's going to think about it? Unless the political politicians, academicians, the, the, the bureaucrats start thinking, this is my country. I'm a Kenyan. Mm. 
then you start feeling the heat yeah. of being somebody. Yeah. Because out there, the poverty is just out of control, you, Manu. I mean, you, you see, I'm sure you see it every day. People walk up to you and say, my, my, my child needs help, uh, uh, hospital bills. That's, that's all, but you know, I, I've been a chairman of State Family Rehabilitation Trust Fund for 10 years. And I walk through every slums over here, here in Mombasa, mm. both places. Mm. You know, you see those pitiful things and you, you feel, you cry. How can we be so uh, inhuman, inhuman to create yeah. situations like that? Yeah. And yet, when you see them, you roll the car the, the, and think that it's gone away. Right. It's not gone away. It's not gone away. Yeah. So the point is that this is the most, that's the only hurting me, that during my time, I did so many changes in trying to build the economy, environment, but I have not been able to change that attitude that nobody should go to sleep without food. Today our children are going, some with half meal, some with no meal. Yeah. Why? Manu, but look, okay, you say you've done your part. No, I don't, I've done my part, but when I look back, the, in, in my part of life, I was building my, my businesses. Yeah. I was then decided in saying that I'm going to spend time in creating an environment of business so the governments and, and, the, and, the, and the businessmen people can sit together yeah. and talk together and, and see and, and realize that. And then I also started doing a lot of social work. But the social work was the number two. Mm. Not number one. I wish it could have been, well, it might not be number one, but it must be in the equal lane. Yeah, but Manu, come on, you were running a business, your family business that was decades old. I mean, how can you just do, you know, can't concentrate on CSR and leave the business? Yeah, but the point is that it's not, uh, many times it's not always the money. It's the feeling that you want to do something. Then you can. Now, wh why should I go to the slum and, and, and wipe their tears? Tell me, it is not necessary. But unless we start doing it, it's of our making. No. What we see, the poverty is not just, it didn't come from up. No. Yeah, it's our making. But, but, but you're confident, you're optimistic that we can turn this around? We can turn this around and, it, it, and in no time, it's not, it's not that we're talking about 20 years. In no time. But these, these guys who became what they are, tigers, yeah. they didn't take 20 years to build. No, 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 it didn't. It didn't. Every day, if they put two bricks today, tomorrow they're thinking about five. Mm. Day after tomorrow they're thinking about 15. Mm. That's, a, that's a really high. Yeah, guess age. what? Yeah, yeah. We're thinking about 2022 right now. Yeah. Shame. Okay. President's big four agenda. You know it, Manu, better yeah, than anyone yeah, else yeah, because yeah, yeah, manufacturing yeah. is one of them. And you're, you know, you're, you're high on that. So we'll talk about food security. We'll talk about universal health care for all. We'll talk about affordable housing. And of course, manufacturing, which is an employment for all. Ambitious uh, uh, agenda, or is it, is it also achievable? No. It is achievable, but you must remember we are already one and a half year. Correct. Gone. Yeah. 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 It's achievable. But I must thank him that f the first person who decided, let's now concentrate on these issues. Not everything. Yeah. But yeah. only on these issues. Yeah. And to me, I think that that's a great idea and a great possibility. Now, who's going to make it? Is it uh, the president going to make it? Is the minister of industry going to make it? Yeah. Is the industrialist make, going to make it? No, it's, it's the whole, everything in, in, in this ecosystem yeah. has to push. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Everybody has to push. And today the question is that for doing one thing, you take 10 steps forward 
and then there are four steps or five steps or six steps, somebody's going to push you back yeah. and say, go back. Yeah. This cannot be done. You need the goodwill of everyone if you want to make it. And that means, why can't we aspire? What is, if the president can aspire that we want to become somebody, why can't we aspire? It is us who are letting him down, more or less. Not as industrialists alone, but the whole system. It has to be a teamwork. It can be done and it must be done. Yeah. It might be late, not by, not by the fifth year. Maybe it might be seventh year. Sure. But if you don't push hard, yeah, I, I don't know, but you, you, you know, when the baby is born, that one critical time, the woman gets exhausted, you know. Yeah. Push, come on. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Unless we have got that capacity to really to achieve, we can. There's, there's nothing wrong in it. You know, Manu, you're, you're so right because look, we can cite examples from Singapore to Rwanda. Lee Kuan Yew, for many years or decades, he told his people, this is the way we're going and they went this way. Paul Kagame is same telling thing. his people the same. You know this better yeah, than yeah, we absolutely, do. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. What is wrong with us? I mean, even who do my number, we question. Yeah, but the question is that, you know, we, we, uh, we feel to be so divided ourselves. Yeah. It's from Western, it's from Luo, sure. it's from Central, yes. it's more Indian, it's, you know. We're so divided. Why can't for the first thing to tell him that, who are you? I'm a Kenyan. The guy who says I'm not a Kenyan, kick him. Yeah, kick him in the teeth. Yeah, yeah. Because, the, because the question is that unless I believe that it's my country, whether it's that corner or this corner, but it's my country. Yeah. yeah. So uh, unless and until we are really prepared to put effort, and it is doable. It is not that we cannot do it. But then there are so many things odds against us all the time. You clear one thing, another offload load yeah. comes and just pours in front of you. Correct, correct. I think that it is us who are more enemies of ourselves than somebody else. And that's our biggest downfall, you know, Manu. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. It's our absolutely. biggest undoing. Yeah. And, and, and why not? Why can't we do it? Why can't undo all this, these issues? You know, Manu, the other thing is, everybody looks at Kenya. Everybody wants to do business with Kenya. Yeah. Everybody's bending over backwards to establish a business or a headquarters in Kenya. And here we are fighting ourselves. I mean, are we mad? Well, the point is that uh, uh, all I can say that have you got the maturity now? Mm. Are we mature enough mm. to really think that we can? When others think that we can, yeah. then why yeah. can't we think? Yeah. The point is that it's, it's, we need orchestra. Everybody's playing the same tune not somebody playing something and somebody playing something. That is not acceptable. Yeah. Because it is doing more harm yeah. than, than the building up. What we need is to build up, build up with clear mandate and no obstructions. Any obstruction that comes in, I don't have to go to tell somebody to, hey, please help me to do that. No. He is a part of the game as much as I'm on the part of the game. I'm running. I don't want somebody to come in between. Yeah. So I think that it's a, it's, it's a fair possibility that Kenya is sitting at a place. Kenya has all the possibilities. And I think that we have got now a, a good idea, a design that we want to be. We want to have employment of our people. Mm. There's a four million youth which are pacing streets, yes. that's number one. Yes. Number two, we want to feed ourselves. 
any country you take today in the world, they feed themselves. So what's wrong with us? Third thing, we talked about yeah. housing. Yeah. We don't want to remain all the time in these Mukuti houses. Correct. And 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 and, and wattle bark and and mud. Yeah. No. But we must have that capacity to say, no, I don't want to stay. If I accept to stay, I'll remain stay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Where you are. Yeah. yeah. And the fourth is the health. Health. Very yeah. important. Yeah. Very important. Yeah. Manu. There's a running joke that said, um, you know, God gave this country everything. It's, you know, natural resources, amazing athletes, you know, gave us everything. Weather, 365 days. And then other countries started complaining. They're saying, you know, wh why are you favoring those people, man? What, what is it about them? And God <laughs> smiled and says, wait till you see the leaders. <laughs> well, the point is that, you know, who are the leaders? We make them. Yeah, we get what we deserve. So. so what you, what we you, get what yeah, we deserve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all we require now is that we have good leaders who can lead us now. But, but now, how about number two, number three, number four, number five? Yeah, and vision. Yeah. Next generation. Yeah, yeah, next, yeah, next, next, next. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And I don't think that we can just close our eyes and say this: these youth are going to be closed. No. no. They are Kenyans. They are hungry. Yeah. They are intelligent. Yeah. They have studied. They are educated. They want to be a part. Absolutely. Yeah. So I think that all we require is just a, a strong will. While we've got a strong plan, we need to have strong will. Strong will. And we should now push that attitude to put the plan. A strong will has to be there. Manu, I want to take a break, come back. And I know you, you, there's a topic that is uh, very uh, sensitive in this nation. But, you know, we have to talk about it. I want your opinion on the war on corruption. Are we winning it, Manu? I mean, we've got some great teams out there. DPP, Nordin Haji, DCI, George Kinoti. We have the EACC. I mean, they're doing a great job. Are we winning the war? Hold that thought, Manu. And also... Your advice for the next generation. I mean, look, you and I might not be around for the next 10 years. Okay, I will be, but you, you, you might not. Your advice. Your advice, Manu, because you, you've lived it all. You lived nine decades. Yeah, but, uh, the, the point is that, uh, you know, everybody's born equal. Yeah, but you, I mean, you got good genes, you got, you know, good no, money, no, you've no, got, no, no, you got a not. great wife in Aruna. <laughs> Aruna's always with you, man. I mean, she never leaves your side. Thank you, thank you. But it's thanks to her also, because you need the props to yeah, support you. Yeah. You do get into issues where you feel very isolated, very lonesome. Yes. That there is always there. And the other, there's one more thing about you, Manu, continuity. You know, in Chandaria, in there's continuity. You've built that. You're ready for uh, the next generation to take over. You're not that's clinging that's on. No, no, that's that, that's true. Let's talk about that. Keep tweeting. What a man, folks. I mean, goodness gracious me. Are we going to grow up to be like him? <laughs> Probably not. Hey, yeah, come on now. At <laughs> <laughs> Queen Anger Jeff at Citizen TV, can the hashtag is JK Live Manu Chandaria Manu by to his. A lot of people out there keep tweeting. We'll be back. More questions, and then we'll read your tweets and find out more about the secret to this man's youth, the fountain of youth in this 91-year-old. Jeff Kennedy Live takes a break. We'll be back in a moment. JK Live.